We are Sarva. The future of education starts here. Hello and welcome to this episode of Everyday Genius. I'm your host, Pete Craig, and today uh, it's a pleasure to welcome um, someone who is a, a visual artist, a muralist, um, who's done you know, art projects all over like the world, uh, you know, from Europe to South America to the United States. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome to today's show, Oscar Gonzalez, uh, otherwise known as uh, Guache. I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little oh. later. <laughs> There's my, uh, my, my Amazon device just ch chiming in there. So, um, well, welcome, Oscar. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Pete. Um, thank you for uh, inviting me uh, to share my ideas. Yeah, my, my, my pleasure, my pleasure. So <clears throat> I, I want to like, start off, I guess, with um, just you giving us a little bit of background. So I gave a very like, broad idea that, uh, you know, that you're a visual artist and you're muralist, but it perhaps... Perhaps tell us, tell the audience, you know, what that is, you know, in your, in, in your definition, you know, what, what is it that you do? Um, I could say that I am a visual artist. Um, I have a background in, in graphic design. I, I, I went, I could have a university um, formation um, for... Um, to work like as a graphic designer, but I consider myself like I, as a visual artist. Mm -hmm. mm, I start to um, in, get involved to the, um, in the um, graffiti and uh, urban art uh, movement um, about uh, 15 years ago in Bogota, Colombia. Mm, and um, from many years ago, I love printmaking and the classic printing techniques. Mm, and I combine my workshop, my homework uh, with the printmaking, with the murals, um, especially working with communities in Colombia and some places uh, in Latin America. What's, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess, you know, that, that kind of background, you said you kind of started with, with kind of, yeah, urban art and, and graffiti. Um, thinking back, you know, quite 15 years or so ago, um, in in Colombia, especially, you know, what what was what was uh, what was that um, what was that art? What was that graffiti used for? Because it's quite it's, it's quite a quite a deep history of yeah art being used to communicate messages or graffiti being used to communicate messages, especially in. Um, yeah, in 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 Colombia, you know, it's the, the country's transformed now. But you know, um, at that time, yeah, you know, there was a lot more kind of unrest. Yeah, um, Colombia has a very complex uh, history about violence because um, the the way that the, that the politics works in Colombia it's very it's very violent and and it's. Um, it's a, a very little uh, crew of uh, the elite uh, people in power that uh, re remains generation and generations. And uh, there is a um, um, uh, difference in, the, in, the, in our culture. We have the uh, influence of uh, indigenous communities, uh, Afro communities, um, and the big cities. And uh, it's it's like a complex because we we had an um, an art movement of rebel people called guerrilla people, and the uh, so the the first uh, messages that I I could see in the in the street it, it was protest it was um, in the demonstrations and it was like uh, cars that were was targeted uh, yeah. by the by the rebels in the in the roads. Um, after that, uh, we had the influence of the hip hop movement. Um, that um, it was very important in the big cities like Bogota, Medellin, and Cali. Um, and I think that the new uh, street art movement that uh, we're living uh, in these days uh, has the influence of the rebel movement and the hip hop and the influence of street art, the global street art movement mm. and and has so have you seen that um 
it's kind of like messaging has changed. Yeah, is the, is the messaging, because I, I know we talked about this before, you know, and you use a lot of your messaging yeah, now is kind of like to promote kind of like positivity um, and you know, kind of like positive change within communities rather than you know, kind of like, uh, promoting a specific kind of political message. Have you noticed a, a change in that you know, um, across, um, across the country and in other countries as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that we're like uh, in a very big challenge of change our culture because the the um, the first messages the, before the peace arrangement between the government, the state, and the and the rebel people in arms uh, with people, uh, it's the um, we're we're trying to to expose and share messages about uh, about the a society that uh, moves toward the kind of uh, modernity because mm. uh, the um, i mean the history of our country it's a uh, it's it's in in many zones of our country we have a culture um with some values on with some practice cultural practice like the um, feudalism you know mm -hmm. um so um, we we're, we're trying to to share messages and the new messages that you can see uh, all around the country. It's about the identity. It's about the honor, uh, the um, indigenous people. It's about the that kind of new global culture that um, about the um, environment, by um, to save the the rainforest. Um, so it's it's different kind of uh, of messages, but uh, I'm sure that it's super different, pretty different mm -hmm. from 15 years ago. Yeah, 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah, for sure. And how, you know, I know you've you kind of told me that you do a lot of work, kind of like in communities, yeah, you know, kind of like workshops and things. How important is um, is art? And is you know, kind of work like yours in in bringing communities together? You know, do what 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 do you quite see the impact? And, you know, how, what's the impact of that? Okay, we're sure that the art is a real expression of our spirit as a, a humans mm. uh, that they have uh, dreams, feelings, and um, and we we we're trying to build a movement that connect the the urban arts with the communities that uh, are uh, out of the city uh, in little village or um, in countryside and i think that the important of the of um, bring art uh, to those communities is to make that the experience of creation um, with freedom can make a, um, a tool for transform the reality uh, in the symbolic way. And when you transform the reality in any way, for me it's positive because it's a, a door that opens for uh, see uh, ourselves, for think uh, by yourself, for live a kind of freedom of your spirit. Yeah. Does that but work both ways as well? So you know you're you're going kind of like to the to the villages and to the to the countryside to do this, but do you also see that same impact if you teach you know, in the in the inner cities? So you know, perhaps um, working with um, you know kind of kids that have uh, that have kind of lost their way or kids that are getting you know, into trouble and perhaps going down the wrong path. Do you find that that has the same same impact? Um, the we have big cities and uh, and uh, um, we are centralist uh, uh, culture and politics. I mean, the um, the migration from the countryside to the city in the last century in in Colombia uh, changed the um, how many people live. Um, I, I mean, like uh, seventy years ago, uh, the um, the proportion uh, between cities and countryside it was 30 percent in the cities 70 percent in the countryside yeah. today it's it's the other way it's 
70% in the big cities and only 30% in the countryside. So um, in the big cities, we have a, like a lot of communities that uh, keeps the, their original culture from the countryside. I mean, in the, in the neighborhoods of Bogota, you see people who um, has um, chickens, uh, plants in their in the backyards of the of the little house, mm -hmm. uh, in the rooftops, uh, and, and we try to to honor, to uh, give the value of of that culture, sharing our knowledge, sharing our experience with that uh, groups, people, okay. and yeah. our our duty is um, our objective is to empower the people for um, honor their own culture mm, yeah yeah do you you know on on this on this kind of show we talk a lot about you know this idea of you know, kind of creativity and this uh, this idea of kind of genius and you know the, the two are connected and that actually you know within us all you know we're, we're kind of born with creative genius yeah over time it kind of gets it gets kind of sucked out of us it gets gets pulled out of us do you do you see and it sounds like I, I imagine you do, but do you see as you're sharing people, as people get involved in, in the art through the workshops, do you see that creativity coming back? Do you see them kind of like coming almost to life? Mm, I think so. I, I, can, I can tell that, that um, on one hand, uh, in, the, in, our, in our works, when, when we go to make the workshops with the communities, we found a lot of people very, very talented. Um, without a formal um, education in arts mm. or uh, something, e even people who never went to school, um, that it's like waiting for an opportunity to to make something different, to to get a um, a job, uh, doing some uh, jobs in the countryside, uh, and. Uh, in the other way, uh, we try to make a uh, teaching experience, uh, like um, I don't know how to say, like horizontal, like share mm -hmm. the like share the knowledge and the experience, not like a um, guy with the knowledge that that comes to give the the truth. No, um, we're trying to to share in the in the same level to mm -hmm. hear the yeah. people to. Uh, value their knowledge about simple things uh, that for real it's not too simple it's like the life itself yeah 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 so, so it's, it's more about kind of like being making it inclusive you know, so rather than you being the teacher up here and then being the students and you talking down it's about you all coming together to create something and allowing them to feel part of it yeah that is it's the challenge for us, for um, it, when when I talk of us, is is because there there are many collectives in all the country that is working with that kind of of thinking of share of um, when when we go to the to the territories, we go with gratitude for the for the people mm -hmm. because it's a it's an opportunity for for get for improve our our skills in get empathy um and i i i think that uh, beyond the the big names of art uh or the um, uh, the people know your work the things more simple for for us is it's to to be build uh, a culture uh, with solidarity, um, with love. It sounds like kind of worried, but but for us, it's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean that that makes a hundred percent yeah sense to me. I think you know it's uh, uh, the the world the world needs a lot more of that than um, yeah than just pure kind of commercialism. You know, yes, we all need to we all need to earn money, but actually, you know, it's time uh, for us to come back together. Um, yeah, as people, as communities, and recognise that you know we're all we're all the same, um, and yeah, to find a way 
to find a way forward um, together rather than kind of you know, separated and, uh, and and very very individual. How? Um, yeah. I mean, you you you've you've worked now kind of like all over um, all over the world. What's what's that like? You know how how did that how, how did that happen for a start? You know how did um, how did you end up being kind of invited to paint murals in um, in city in other cities in the world rather than just yeah, in your in your home country? Um, yeah, yeah. I I feel um, very lucky for um, for that because um, it's the opportunity to learn. Um, we we start to doing murals uh, in a um, naive way. I mean. Uh, we, at the beginning, we we don't expect that uh, that traveling or or maybe painting big murals and buildings or or, or doing projects uh, with involve uh, many people. We just uh, start to paint uh, for the joy of paint, mm -hmm. for the feeling of freedom of uh, or maybe to may, maybe to escape of the of the of the creativity jobs like. Uh, um, marketing and the advertisement who hired artists and after that we we, we start to make like um, um, links uh, like uh, to 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 connect with other people in Latin America who uh, were in the in the in the same way of thinking uh, um, doing their own projects and we start to, to visit them and invite them to to Bogota and uh, at the beginning for us I mean like uh, 10 years ago 15 year, years ago it was by our way our, our way I mean uh, we we don't have um, we didn't have um, any support by institutions or uh, governments or anything but we we buy our own, our own paint and we uh, look for the walls. And after that, we start working, working, and, and the movement uh, uh, is growing. And after that, uh, we start to, to make a um, dialogue with institutions. And um, it, uh, the, the simple things uh, become like a big movement. That, and we keep on painting. And um, unconsciously, uh, I don't know how to say. It. It's like um, trying to to find the way for doing our art and our messages in a particular way. Uh, that's called like a style. Mm -hmm. um, and with that style, exploring, uh, studying for our way, uh, and it's like a like a <laughs> like a ball of snow. I don't know how to say. It. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it. yeah, just just grew, grew and grew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was um, what what was the initial like you know reaction from um your yeah, like, I guess the yeah the the municipalities and things like that. So when you started, um, first of all, before you approached them to start talking to them, yeah, when you were just yeah, painting on the, you know on the walls of buildings, was there? Uh, was there resistance at that point, or you know, was it welcomed um, by them? Uh, was it welcomed by the communities, but not by you know, the the muni municipalities? You know, what what was the dynamic there to start with? Yeah, at um, at, the, at the beginning, um, all of our all of our movement uh, it was um, considered by the politicians, all the institutions like some marginal, like some um, kind of underground movement, mm -hmm. but it was growing, growing and growing. And, um, and when we start to, to paint um, in projects for the communities, involving the people and uh, joining with, with other artists, uh, not exactly visual artists, I'm, I'm talking about musicians, mm -hmm. uh, people of theater, um, DJs, uh, some systems that want to go to the neighborhoods, and make some cultural meeting. Mm. Um, we 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 to to see that that the, to understand the power of our work. I mean, the power of of transforming the reality for real. 
<laughs> so um, after after that um, um, the graffiti I mean the graffiti influenced by hip hop music music and culture uh, grow as as um, at the level that the all the city it's painted all the public spaces has tagged and painted yeah. and it was like a out of control so uh, in one point the the major and the uh, cultural inst institutions from Bogota and the big cities uh, try to control that, like uh, giving us some spaces for legal graffiti, you know, for legal graffiti. Uh, yeah. um, but it was un out of control because there are many, many people uh, interested in that. Uh, there is a thing uh, so so interesting because uh, I, I work uh, as a teacher of uh, de design in some u universities like 10 years ago, um, and in that in those days, uh, graffiti and um, all our movement um, was like a very underground uh, scene. Um, but today, many people want to study arts and, and, and graphic design because now it's like a trendy thing, you know, like, mm -hmm. like a very um, impact uh, and some of the of the graffiti artists becoming a kind of pop stars that with the influencers and yeah. and very commercial works and many people don't don't want to to paint free in the streets as in the old days yeah. only wants to you have many followers you as yeah. all the all all the new culture that get involved in capitalism cap capitalist uh, uh, switch in something for get profit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so, yeah, your your work and yeah, I've got a couple of pieces on my on my wall in in my office here. Um, cool. <laughs> your, your your work is quite very like you said, very influenced by yeah the the indigenous kind of tribes and yeah the the culture of um, of Colombia. And of, and, and of Latin America, what's what 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 was the reason for that? Is that is that something you felt called to? Is it uh, is it a link to your own heritage, or or what, where's where? What was the what was the reason for kind of going down that path? Um, in the in my in my work, uh, doing uh, workshops and supporting projects. Uh, who works uh, with communities? I had the opportunity to go to the to the south of our country, um, near to the Ecuador border and Brazil border, and meet the the communities, um, few communities, um, and you've had the opportunity to know the traditions and uh, understand that the that the approach uh, of the of the artistic work with the ancient and the native communities it's uh it's far away from the exotic thing uh, it's far away from the kind of uh, tourism uh, tourism you know mm, yeah. and uh, and, uh, and and they have many things to teach uh for um, teach us uh like the relationship with the nature like the um, um way of life uh, of um have some respect for the sacred things uh, i i'm not talking about religious or any of something like, like that i mean the the nature uh, the elements mm -hmm. um, and uh, and how those people have resist to the um colonialism for more than uh, 500 years yeah. and and the culture remains and the and the culture um, get strong uh, and resist to the to the, all the attacks from the co uh, margination and all the all the modern world. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel some uh, like um, very. I feel very grateful with the with the with the communities and the teachings and that. The reason because I include in some of my series um, imaginary from the native people from Latin America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
yeah i mean i mean the, the influence is uh the influence is kind of you know super uh super clear yeah and i in 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 many many of the the kind of pieces and uh the piece that's kind of opposite me now is the uh um is the sword porque somos i am because we are um yeah and the, the imagery on that one i know you you shared with me you know there's a there's a history you know the the, the image behind that is is uh is from one of those uh from one of those those tribes yeah 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 and and in the in these days uh, there is um um awful uh his, history about the the community um from from the girl who i paint in the i carve uh, and print in that in that piece because um some uh, soldiers uh, raped uh, a girl from that community and it's a common practice in colombia but be, be, because we have something uh, about the the relation uh, between the um, western uh, culture for uh, say in any way with the with the with the little village of of people from Embera people, especially with the women. So um, it's terrible what what's happened with that community because uh, they they have a history uh, with the margination, uh, migration to the city, uh, and now uh, the the girl was uh, raped for for the uh, by the soldiers. But the but the thing is is I in my in my journeys in my trips uh, working with 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 the communities I I do I'm I'm doing portraits and my sketchbook it's uh, always painting and trying to to get the the scene and after in my studio I uh, transform that in in my in my prints in mm. my canvases. Yeah, yeah. The, I I just wanted to say something. You you you've said a lot, and it's a piece of art. But I I don't think you've actually done it as a print. Uh, but I saw it as one of your murals, and you talk a lot about transforming realities. And um, there's a there's a piece of your uh, your mural uh, work that I've seen. I'm not sure which city it's in, um, but in that it said uh, transformidad that realidad that realidad is. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's in Bogota. It's a, it was an invitation from a, a university, and they have a like a hall a, a mm -hmm. down the street. Um, uh, they invite me to to paint uh, something about the um, the compromise of the of the people who had the opportunity to go to the university um, and the um, the population that um, can get the the um, studies in university it's yeah. a little bit it's a little bit if you see in the uh, statistics it's little bit people uh, who can uh, go to the university and work in, in in what we want that it's yeah. a privilege for 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 us and i i try to 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 launch this this message about the how we transform realities with uh, with our knowledge with the uh, with the so um we try to to show to to the people how with the with your hands are you thinking uh, you can transform their their reality for many people yeah yes yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful message and when i when i first saw it i yeah it's it stuck with me all the time i i i, lo I love the um i love the 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 kind of interpretation in english but also just the, the words in uh, in Spanish just uh, yeah I, I love it so uh, yeah that, that that one's always stuck with me so so it's nice nice to hear the background of it and why why it came about that that message yeah it's, it's, it's you you just shared you know so it's nice I, I didn't know where it was and I didn't know why you you'd done it but you've just shared that you know it's for a universe so it makes makes sense why you you use those words and uh, and, and where it is so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I uh, actually, uh, I I try to to uh, include messages. I I mean textual messages um, in my in my pieces and in my mural because because I I think that the that the for for many people when you launch a message 
maybe it it can uh, move something inside the people mm. in the inner uh, circle of of the of the sensibility um, and um, I think that the that the street art, the muralism, and the and the printmaking work that uh, that we're working, uh, it's political. It's mm. a political way to live. Um, when I talking about political, I'm not I'm not thinking about uh, being part of a party or yeah. being part of a special movement. Uh, it's more like an attitude that you can um, uh, spread uh, messages for change something um, we 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 know that that the that the big things that the big change starts in little sparkles that activate inside the people and uh, this is our work because uh, we're working with the with the magic of symbols we're working with the sensibility we're working with feelings mm -hmm. um, and for us the colors the shapes the forms are like a um, abstract um, tools uh, and I repeat uh, I combine it that the, that the art it's a manifestation of our spirit yeah 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 beautiful is is there so do you do you work with do you do you work with children as well when you're doing this yeah when, you, when, you, yeah, when yeah. you're doing your work so, so it's children as well because yeah th that's it's, it's, it's kind of like the children where I believe that yeah, there's the most the most potential, and I think you know for us to change, it's yeah yeah it's it's amazing that there are so many so many people that are changing and that are kind of like waking up and that want to create a different life. Uh, but I think the way to create uh, create that change for the long term is to give those tools and give that to to children and allow children and everything you're saying you know about um, the importance of you know, cr creativity and uh, allowing them to kind of see a, a new reality and kind of spark things within them. Um, I think that that's that's so so valuable and so needed. Um, and I'm sure you know when you're working with kids, you see some that you see them come up with some amazing, um, yeah, you know, kind of art and some amazing ideas. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I I think that. Um, mm, Beyond the um, techniques and the uh, purpose of the any project of any mural, of the background, the context uh, when you're working, um, I think that there is a th uh, special um, thing that for us is very important, and it's freedom for creating. Yeah. And um, after that, when you uh, show and you share and you give to the to the group when you work uh, where you're working uh, that feeling of freedom and the um, um, confidence and the um, um, security to to flow and and you um, follow your uh, feelings yeah. in the in the in the process of of the creation it's it's when the best thing happens. Mm -hmm. uh, in the visual terms, I mean the 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 best mural that I work in the way of collective art and creation uh, are when when I left like kind of uh, open space for creation and uh, enjoy it and yeah. uh, feeling without the uh, teacher that it's over you like uh, what are you doing uh, no like you have the materials. This is the references. Uh, we talk about the histories of the uh, animals and plants and the meat and the oral, oral tradition of the community. And after we open the door, and it's when the best mm -hmm. thing happened with children, especially. Yeah, beautiful. And I want to ask you, what's, um, is, is there one piece of work? Yeah, whether it's a mural, whether it's a print or, or something, one piece of work that you've created that you're, you're most proud of because of the, uh, because of the impact it's had or, you know, because of, or just because it means so much to you. What, what's the one piece, if there is one single piece, yeah, that, that means the most to you? 
um, I, I have like like two sides of my of my work. The my personal work as a as an artist as a mutilist, uh, and uh, and my and my work with communities. In in every side, I I have some highlights or uh, good remembered exper experience that make me be happy for real. Yeah. But, uh, when when we work with with communities, we had like a process maybe in the in the um, west coast uh, of Colombia in the Chocó region the, with the many uh, Afro and indigenous people that we do many portraits and uh, messages and we paint like uh, big murals in short time and uh, all people was like uh, get involved. Uh, the little towns and we start to paint with uh, 10 or 15 children and uh, students and we start painting with 60 people uh, painting all the house uh, uh -huh. buying more paint by the way and uh, cooking in the street and uh, musicians comes like a party like a block party with with our work yeah, yeah. and that's beautiful and uh, in my personal work, um, I had the opportunity to work uh, a, b a big mural in uh, mosaics of ceramic, you know, like tiles. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, for um, for a memorial center uh, of the peace arrangement in Bogota, uh, and I have very good uh, memories from that process because it was collective with a collective of artists and the and the work of break every piece and put mm. every piece in the wall it's um wow. it's my for me it was muddy what what was the um what was the what was the picture what was the image what was the yeah it was a, a i i made a a series called the history of the corn in latin america um in some prints murals uh, and i was talking about the 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 corn as yeah. a symbol of the um indigenous people from Mexico to Argentina, uh, as a symbol that that uh, unites many traditions and um, and remains like a symbol of resistance of the um, original communities, and it was a piece about the the um, the build of the corn, like as from the seed to the, to uh, the yeah. big plant, and um, it has um, a message. The, that say that the um, memory is the seed for the future. It says. Mm, nice, nice, amazing, amazing. We, you know, it's um, yeah. I, I've I've loved this conversation. You you've shared so there's, there's so many things um, that you've you've kind of shared that are relevant to other conversations and other things that that I'm doing. Yeah, and it just it just shows me that there is this there is this real connection you know between like creativity between genius and between freedom and living the lives that we we really want to lead um yeah and i think uh yeah you you've quite you've you've demonstrated that you've explained that perfectly so uh, yeah thanks so much for spending some time with uh with me with the audience and uh, and sharing and we'll put some some links underneath to um, to your website, so as if so people can have a look at some of the work that you're doing. Um, and yeah, I'm sure uh, I'm sure some of them will be interested in in purchasing some pieces as well, just uh, just as I was. So <laughs> thank uh, you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Any any kind of final kind of bits of advice or anything that you want to share just before we finish? Um, well, thank you, Pete, for inviting me to share my 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 ideas. Um, even my basic English, <laughs> I try <laughs> to, to to express myself as, as, as I am thinking. Um, finally, I I I, I have um, um in, in 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 these times with the situation of the of the quarantine and um, and all the things that it's happened right now in the world um i think that the that that the art um get very important and uh, becomes in many space like like a light uh, for yeah. the for these dark dark times that we're living as humankind mm -hmm. um and um 
and I think that it's important to share um, good things with the people, even uh, if you are an artist or not. Uh, and I think that 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 situ special situation that I don't want to express the name of the of the of the little thing that 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 have us uh, in our houses. Um, it's a, a special occasion for rethink and transform many things of all the all the problems of of the world and strong the the, the links between us and um, I think that the time now always <laughs> absolutely absolutely that is thank you amazing thank you so much we are Sarva the future of education starts here.